that would drive us to the cross now. Mm -hmm. Dad, can I pick the last one? Beneath the cross, Mommy's favorite one. Ready? Beneath the cross of Jesus, I have found a place to stand and wonder at such mercy that calls me as I am. And we're now, no, no, no. For hands that should discard me. Hold wounds which tell me come beneath the cross of Jesus. My unworthy soul is one. And we're not back on your black chair. Okay. Then this will keep your hands to yourself, but I'll sing with you. Hey guys. Guys, listen, we're going to do one last song and we're going to we're going to have fun with this one because I want everybody to sing this song. We all know it, okay? No, we just did that one. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing, just sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Hey guys, now that we have sung, remember, we have sung songs about Jesus being born, right? Born in Bethlehem for the Christmas season. And now... Mama already picked Beneath the Cross, which is a song that talks about Jesus dying for us. Excuse me. What? I have two more songs to dance to afterwards. Well, guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to read Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5. Uh, and Muna, huh? you have already disobeyed. Please sit on your tush, okay? Tikva. Sit on your tush, okay? Kaya hands to yourself, okay? Hey, guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to read Mark 5. And remember, we just read last time about a man who lived in the tombs, and he had a whole lot of what in him? Demons. How many? One, no. two, three, four, five. Well, it could have been a lot of demons. And yet, did Jesus have a really hard time casting out the demons? He just said, come out, right? And all of the demons came out. And where did they go? Into pigs. And what happened to the pigs? They ran down the Sea of Galilee and died. What? Did the demons die when he ran in? No, the oh, demons did not die, but the pigs did. But did, did, did they like fall out of the thing and come out of the water? That's a great question, <laughs> Kaya. That's a very good question. Yeah, I think the demons live on forever until Jesus casts them into the lake of fire. I don't know where the demons went when the pigs died, but but they they do live on. That's scary. Because they will live on forever, even in the lake of fire. Okay, everybody, look at Daddy. I'm going to read from this book. What is this book, Emuna? Be quiet. What? Adam and Eve. It's it's what book? Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve book. They are in this book. And what is this book called? The B I B L E. Yes, that's the book for me. The I stand up on my word for the B I B L E. Bye, That's right. Well, everybody sit and listen to this story. I wonder if we've ever heard this one before. So Jesus got out of the boat on the other side, and there was a huge crowd. Many, many people Is this around Jesus. 5, no. And then there came running to Jesus, running so fast. 
He was a ruler. He he was almost like a leader in the synagogue. Emuna, hands to yourself. Leave her alone. Emuna, do not touch your sister, okay? Hands to yourself. And and he, he was a guy by the name of Jairus. Jairus. Jairus was a leader of the synagogue. And he saw Jesus, and guess what he did? He fell down at the feet of Jesus, and he begged Jesus, My little daughter, my little daughter is at home, and she's going to die. Will you please come and lay your hand on her so that she'll be better? Well, there was a huge crowd that walked with him. And on the way, there was a woman who had bleeding. I mean, she couldn't stop bleeding for years and years, even longer than you've been alive, Kaya. And you know what? She, you know what she did? She came up to Jesus and she touched the edge of his garment. And guess what? Right when she did that, she was healed perfectly. And Jesus said, "Who touched me?" And the disciples said, "Jesus." There are so many Dad, people around Dad, you. Dad, what? But, but why did he say who touched me? Because he felt power go out from him. He knew somebody was healed. And the disciples said, Jesus, there are so many people around you. How do you say who touched me? Everybody's touching you. And Jesus said, no, where is she? And the woman, she said, oh, no, he knows it's me. And she went up and she told him the whole truth and she was so scary. And she told him everything and how she had spent money on the doctors. And Jesus said, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Well, Jairus says, no, my daughter is dying. We can't wait any longer. Come on, come on. Well, then, guess what happened? Someone came from Jairus' house and told him, your daughter is now dead. Don't bother Jesus anymore. Your daughter is dead. And Jesus said, don't fear. Don't be afraid. Only believe. Only believe. Only believe. So Jesus walked to the home and he allowed Peter, James, and John to go into the house with the mother and the father. And guess what happened? Jesus said, why are you all crying and, 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 and so sad around here? The girl is not dead. She's sleeping. Okay. We'll handle the poops in just a moment. Now. Just sit, okay? We'll handle the poops in a minute. Thank you for, for telling us, though. Well, Jesus said, wait, she is not dead, she is sleeping. Everybody laughed at him. Ha, you don't know anything. We know she's dead. Well, guess what? Dad, I think he slapped on his face for opening the bathroom. Jesus, door. Jesus took the little girl by the hand. And do you know what he said? Talitha Kuhn. Everybody say, Talitha Kuhn. You know what that means? It says right here, little girl, I say to you, get up. Little girl, do you think the dead girl listened to the voice of God? Is there another time in the Bible when somebody rose from the dead? Yeah, I'm Lazarus. Lazarus. And what did Jesus say there? Lazarus, come out. Wait. Wait. Put your dress down, sweetie. Wait. So do dead people even listen to the voice of God? Do you think God is powerful enough that he can tell dead people to come out of the grave? You sure can. In fact, guys, listen very carefully. Emunah, Tikva, Kaya, look at daddy. Show me the white eyeballs. Children, the Bible says that we are all dead in our sins. Even though we can walk and look and hear, we're dead in sin. But you know what the Bible says, guys? The Bible says that we are dead and we need God to speak life into us. Hey, children, God has done that to mommy and daddy. 
He has done that. And children, do you want to know what the book of Ephesians says? You were dead in your sins, but you can be made you can be made alive. You can be new. Hey, anybody know what it is when God changes a when God changes a sinner's heart? What's it called? Regeneration. Regener and who can do that? God. God. So wait, Jesus raised the girl from the dead? He raised her from the dead. He showed that he really is God, huh? Hey, Tikva, Kaya, if Jesus is God, what should we do with him? Praise him. Praise him. We should do that even now, guys, in prayer, huh? Well, guys, this is Monday, and what do we do for family worship on Mondays? Missions Monday, Missions Monday, and Emuna, sit on your tushy, okay? We'll change your type diaper in a moment, okay? Change your type for me. Okay, Emuna, listen, we're gonna pray. Please stay on your tush. Um, mommy, would you please pray for our our missionary friends in the Philippines? The ransoms and the greens. Go ahead and do that. Lord God, thank you so much for the precious family um, of the ransoms. We pray for. The husband and the leader of the family, Sean, uh, that you would bless his ministry there in the Philippines, that you'd continue to use him as a vessel that would be fit for your use, that you would guard and protect him spiritually and physically, and that you would um, continue to be pleased to use him to raise up um, local pastors to preach and teach your word faithfully. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Hey, Kaya, would you please pray? For Ken. Would you pray for Kim, yeah, and Myanmar as he teaches pastors to preach? Dear God, thank you for Kim and Myanmar. Amen. 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 Tikva, would you please pray for Mr. Tony Miano and Robert Gray and Mike Stockwell? Would you do that? And um, Grandma Jill and Mama Daniel. Sure. But but please also remember to pray for the missionaries that we that we know too. The, those men preach the word. So maybe pray that God would help them to preach boldly with with clarity. Okay. okay. I, I pray. Yeah, God, I pray that um the boys will preach clearly. And I pray that Grandma Jim and Grandma, Dad, and I pray that those two girls would be strong and courageous in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Emuna, Emuna, look at Daddy. We are going to pray for the Master's Seminary, okay? But, but, but so, Grandma Diane? Sure, but let's pray for the seminary also, okay? okay. So pray with Daddy. Say, yes, Dear God. Yes, dear God. Thank you, Grandma, Grandma Diane. Pray for Israel, and I'll also pray for our friend uh, Tom Rayborn as he plants the church. Okay, everybody pray with me. Father, we do pray for the nation of Israel. We pray for the, the, uh, the, the Jewish people there. We pray, oh God, that they would see that Jesus, their Messiah, has come. We pray, oh God, that you would protect them from all of the surrounding nations around them that want them annihilated. We know, oh God, that you will protect your people and that you will come back again. And Jewish people will look upon the one that they have pierced. We pray that they would come to know Jesus as Messiah. We also pray for our friend Tom Rayborn, who is planting a church in Illinois. We pray, O oh God, that you would give him clarity and strength and courage. God, may he depend upon you, Lord, even in the good and the bad times. Lord, we would pray that you would surround him with godly families that love Christ and are willing to serve in the local church. Do a great work, O oh God, in Alton, Illinois, for your glory. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs>